you ever wish you could take your Dory insert and place it in your ring planner or your disc bound planner without punching holes? Well, here's a quick and easy DIY to make adapters to let you do just that. And then once you're done with your Dory insert in your ring planner, you can just simply put it right back in your Dory. Here's an example of putting my Fedori insert into my Happy Planner. I just put the insert on the adapter, I simply snap it on the rings, and there you go. And then when I no longer need it in my Happy Planner, I simply take it out and place it back in my Fedori. You can make these adapters to fit any kind of insert that you want. For this example, I'm taking a homemade Fedori that I have made little art journal inserts and I'm putting it into my Happy Planner so I don't have to carry my Happy Planner and my separate art journal. And when I'm all done making art in my little art journal insert, I simply take it out of my Happy Planner and I put it right back into the original art journal Fedori. In this example, I want to take this little notebook out of my Fedori and I want to place it into my disc bound art journal without punching any holes. So I just snap the adapter in, I slide the notebook in the adapter, and now I have a notebook in my art journal. Now I want to take that same notebook out of my disc bound art journal and put it in my happy planner. I simply take the adapter and I snap it into the happy planner. And when I'm ready to put that notebook back into my Fedori, I simply take it out of the adapter and slide it back into the Fedori. You can even put a pocket size Fedori insert into your ring or your disc planners. You just need a smaller adapter. As you can see, I simply place the smaller adapter onto the rings and close it up. I slide in my little pocket art journal or insert and my little pocket insert is held nice and secure inside the larger binder. And then it's just a simple matter of sliding it back into the cover when I'm finished. Supplies for this project are fairly simple. You just need either a piece of packing material that's at least eight and a half inches long, or you can even use five mil laminator pouches. For this example, I'm gonna use these dividers that came in these uh, holders these 12 by 12 holders for scrap paper sheets. As you can see, it's thick but flexible plastic. And you can pretty much use any thick flexible plastic. And I like to cut the size that works for me at eight and a half inches tall by one and a half inches wide. This size leaves a little bit of excess length that you can trim off later on if needed once you put it into your planner so you can customize the length that works just right for you. And again, you can use any plastic material that's firm but flexible or strong, such as the five mil laminating sheets. In this example, I'm gonna make a adapter for this little notebook that's not a full size notebook, so it's kind of an odd size. And that's the nice thing about this is that you can make them for any size that you need. So the first thing I do is I just take a divider out of my planner, I center it on the plastic and I just simply trace the holes in there. Then I take my crop -a dial and I just punch out the holes. Now if you need to make the holes a little bit bigger, just do a double punch on each hole, make them kind of oval, and then they'll be able to slide on your planner rings just fine. So now I'm testing the holes to see if they fit on the planner rings and they fit perfectly. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just take my notebook or whatever insert that you're gonna be using and I just eyeball it right in the middle of the length and the width of this plastic strip. And then I take my pen and I simply mark right around the edges on the corners of that insert. I take my crop -a dial and I punch the holes rate just a little bit beyond those markings. So the holes are just a little bit above and beneath the edges of the insert that I'm using. Now here I take a Fisker's cutter that has one of the sharp pointy cutters rather than the wheels and I'm just lining up those two holes that I punched in the middle. I want the right sides of the holes right on the edge of the cutting line because I'm going to be cutting out a slot out of this plastic. So I line that up 
and then I just simply start the cut in the middle of the plastic and I cut up to one hole and then I cut down to the next hole and then I just simply turn it over and I repeat the same thing. Now you can see that it just cut a slice out of the adapter so now you have a slot that you can just slide your insert right into and I put my insert in there and I make sure it slides in nice and smooth if it's too tight just make your slot a little bit longer then I take my crocodile corner rounder and I just round off the corners just because I like the rounded corners rather than the sharp corners. So now I am just putting the insert into my six ring planner and it fits just perfectly. It's held, the notebook is held nice and secure. However, the plastic does stick up just a little bit longer and taller than what I like. So I'm, this is where that excess comes in. I'm just putting it back into my cutter and I'm trimming off the excess to the length that I like so it doesn't stick up too high above all the papers and the dividers and I take my corner rounder get round off those corners again slide my insert in there into the adapter put it in the rings and it just fits perfectly in my six ring planner and this one happened to be by Marion Smith the peachy planner which was a limited edition and it fits just wonderfully and once again, when I'm done with that notebook in my planner, I can simply take it back out and put it back into the Fedori where it originally was. And so now I have inserts that I can fit into all of my Fedoris and all of my planners, both ring bound and disc bound. I don't have to punch any holes. As you can see, these inserts are easy to make with materials you already have on hand. And I hope you find them as useful as I do if you find this useful, please give me a thumbs up on this video and feel free to leave me some love in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Happy planning, everyone!